Hello there, it's Stieg Plantel demonstrating an eyeball aim constraint rig for this Slimer character. Eyeballs tracking the eye looker control just like we would hope when the atlas of the head is rotated the eyeballs are still tracking and keeping up with wherever this is going to be animated in the scene good set everything back in place zero it out that means we have a clean rig and we're going to go open the work file Here our work file has nothing connected so we can do this from scratch all together. First thing we need to do is understand that everything is going to be constrained. This is a disjointed rig. The eyeballs are not directly hooked with a bone or a joint system it's going to be hooked indirectly through a constraint this is to allow less bones to sift through when we're weight painting later on so let's get those eyeballs constrained to the eyeball joints left eyeball joint left eyeball geometry constrained via parent constraint uh, apply adding would shut down the dialog box apply keeps it open so we can do the next one right eyeball joint right eyeball geometry now remove the eyeball joints the geometry follows along. Quick note on the geometry. The cornea is childed to the meat of the eyeball, the actual working part of the eyeball. And that's what's constrained. You can see the constraint here. That's what's constrained to the eyeball joint. Okay, so we still have yet to make the eyeballs move with the head as it translates and rotates. So let's take this, put the constraint on the group above the eyeball joint. Or did I select one? I did. I'd like to do it to this, the eyeball joint, not the head joint. So we can do eyeball joint, the group above the left joint, left eyeball joint, apply, and once again, the eye joint to the right eyeball joint group. Now it should track or move, move with the head as it animates, flies around, whatever it's going to do, but doesn't have the constraint directly on the joint. We're going to save that for the aim constraint coming up here because those two will fight each other. So we're going to go control curve, eyeball, the actual eyeball joint now, constraint, aim. We're going to best practice is to go reset and then update anything from there. Apply curve controller, right eyeball joint. So you can see the aim constraint was applied to the first effort and now to our second effort on the right eyeball joint. So when you fly this around, the eyeballs will track that 
control curve and then maintain engagement of that control curve even when the body is moving and the head is flying around here. There you go. That's what we need for a Slimer eyeball in constraint rig. Thank you.